Hey everybody, Chris Steele here at Steel Frags. And tonight we have yet another offering from the house of Maison Alhambra. And the fragrance we're going to be talking about is Baroque Rouge Extra. So, Baroque Rouge Extra, if you can't guess from the bottle, or from the color, or from rouge, extra, rouge meaning red in French, I believe. Um, this is a clone of Baccarat Rouge by 40. Yes, yet another clone of Baccarat Rouge. And yes, I do have Anna Abied. Um, Anna Abied Rouge is a, is a really nice one. I really, really enjoy this one. Um, this will not be a first impression on this. I have, I, I've got this about a week or two ago, and I wanted to let it sit before I gave a, a full review on it, just because when I first sprayed it, I wasn't too blown away with the performance or the scent. But as you will learn if you stay in this game long enough, that you want to hold on to your fragrances because what they smell like when you first get them is a lot different than what they smell like after you've had them for a while. There's this thing called maceration and it's real. Um, basically the perfumers, perfumers oil and the alcohol in your fragrance mixed with any of the other ingredients after a while, after sitting in the bottle for so long and they've been getting sprayed and there's oxygen coming into the bottle and the oil is moving and that the alcohol is moving after a while, they start to blend and they start to bond a little bit better. So it gives your, your fragrance a different scent. I could tell already right off the atomizer, it smells a lot more rich than it did when I first got it. But anyway, let's get to it. Let's see. We're going to go left wrist because I got something on the right wrist. All right. Make sure nothing's on there. Left wrist. Monster atomizer. Oh, yeah. Okay, so already it's a lot better than when I first sprayed it. When I first sprayed it, I had a really, really nasty alcohol blast. Like it was just, there's a lot of perfumers alcohol in here. But... Perfumer's alcohol does help with projection, so don't be afraid of the alcohol. I mean, be afraid of, you know, Paul Masson, ENJ. Be afraid of that, but don't be afraid of this. Okay. Mm. All right, so I've always had this this thing with, uh, with the Baccarat Rouge DNA, and I, I like an IBED because there's a really nice ambergris note, but there's something else in the Baccarat Rouge DNA that I'm still trying to get used to. People around me like it. I'm not too crazy about it, but it's almost a nail polish remover smell. And I've always gotten that off of every Baccarat Rouge DNA, whatever. It's There's a nail polish smell, nail polish remover smell. If you have sisters or or you had a mom who would do her nails at home, you know what I'm talking about. It's like an acetone or something that's a weird smell. But I go nose blind in this really quickly. Um, my uh, my wife in the other room, she, when I first got this, she said she could smell it. It would smell really good, smell strong. But to me, it's it doesn't smell all that. It doesn't smell all that strong. Um, that's another thing. Just because you can't smell it doesn't mean other people can't smell it. There's this thing, and there's a, a biological thing that happens with your body, physiological thing that happens with your body. When a certain smell is around long enough or when your nose adapts to a smell, it stops smelling it completely. So it doesn't mean it's not there. I can smell it if I get really close up and I can kind of tell it's there because there's, but uh, what I get out of this is this is not nearly as uh, sweet as Anayabayette Rouge. It's not nearly as ambergrissy. This is more, um, 
This is more straight out amber with the Baccarat Rouge DNA with that, that um, I don't even know what you call it, but it's, it's, it has that, that deepness like Baccarat, but it doesn't really have the sweetness. It's more, this is Baccarat, but less sweet to me anyway. I'm not smelling a lot of sweetness. Um, let me see here. I don't know. I just go nose blind to it. I don't know if it's just me or if it's this fragrance or whatever, but I, I genuinely only pick it up if I put my face right up on it. Now, like I said, my wife, she can smell it. Like, it's no problem. She... You know, she she smells it. She says, I smell nice. But I just get self-conscious. I'm like, damn, did I just waste my money? What's going on? But anyway, um, I would definitely check this out. I got this one for about 24 bucks on Amazon. Yes, I, I do buy cheapies. I'm not, I'm not a big guy on spending a whole, whole lot of money on fragrances. Just because... Um, I, first of all, let's keep it real. I'm not in that financial standing where I can buy three, four hundred, one hundred, two hundred dollar fragrances, you know, every time, every time I want one. I can't do that right now, you know. Uh, but with houses like this, it gives the little guy a way to be able to smell good, keep money in your pocket, and have just as good a presentation as the more expensive brand. So I'm very, very grateful for that. So um, yeah, definitely check out Baroque. <laughs> for Baroque people, check out Baroque Rouge Extra. I want to give this more, I, I'll probably do an, a future review on this because I want to give this more time to macerate. As it stands, I don't really get a whole lot out of it. It's kind of hard to smell, just to be honest. But what I can smell, it definitely has Baccarat DNA, but it's a lot darker and it's a lot less sweet. It's more subtle, way more, way subtler than Baccarat or Anna Abayed or um, probably the, the new Armoth that came out that uh, Untold. I think that's the Baccarat uh, clone, the new one. But... Hey, if you guys, <coughs> oh, Jesus, if you guys could, please suggest me some uh, different Baccarat clones down in the, in the comments. Cause I, I would really like to get my, my nose on more on different DNA as far as uh, Baccarat Rouge. I know there's a ton of clones out there. It's kind of hard to keep up with all of them. I know Al Har Remain has uh, Amber Oud Rouge. Uh, there's a bunch. I know that uh, Lataf has got a few. This is one of them. Uh, but yeah, anyway. Baroque Rouge. x -ray. All right. If you guys like the video, thumbs up. Um, if you can subscribe it does help the channel it'll help me come out with better content um also leave comments don't be shy i know you're out there i can see the subs i see the subs i know there's people watching these videos so don't be scared man don't be scared i'm cool i'm not gonna i'm not gonna come looking for you man it's all good i'm not gonna come looking for you anyway you guys have a blessed night and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.